speed is the Apollo the train shot. And this is this is our routine. We go by and we check these beads to see what's hit them. Alright, we'll get there. That's our that's our bait. A leopard grabbed it by this water hole and drug it up into the brush there. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we don't have a tag for leopard, but if we did, that one would probably be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, we set up on another bait across the little pond. We set up, we had the APN thermal scope, we had the Cyclops green light. We were set up to video and to capture anything that came in to the bait that we had sitting by the water hole. Well, we hadn't been there for more than an hour. When I pick up the thermal scope, and I take the ATN and scan across, and what do I see? But a huge leopard. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. I thought it was a hyena because of the way it was sitting, and then it stood up and I could see the huge long tail. And it walked right into that Impala. You could tell that leopard just felt like it owned the place. We sat there and videoed it feeding for a while, and then all of a sudden it looked in our direction, and it took off into the brush. Then Johan said something that made me and Michelle just a tad nervous. He said, Fred, he said, that leopard's gone. He'll probably come back, but he's probably gonna circle around and take a look at us because I think he either heard us or saw us. Not really what you wanna hear in the middle of the night when you can't see, especially after you've already had one pretty bad experience with a leopard. So we sat there for a little bit, dead quiet, Nothing else had come into the bait, and Johan said, you know what, why don't we go ahead and just back out of here really quietly? And I was more than happy to do that. 